world and beautiful people. What is up? It's been a while since I've done like a sit down video and I feel like this was very necessary because I've had a ton of questions on the many, many things that have happened lately. So it is time to answer all your questions, answer all the like confusion because there's been a lot of confusion and I think I need to just straighten everything out. Also, sorry, I am doing my hair. Whoops, don't mind me. So, please um, forgive me if I just am very sporadic and confusing and crazy. If you have any more questions after this, you can ask them, and maybe I'll do, like, on my Instagram answering questions. But I'm here to straighten out all the confusion, all the questions that you guys have had, and just make you guys feel, like, a little more in the know. You know? Huh. As many of you guys know, recently I got my mission call. I am going to be going to Brazil, Belo Horizonte, and please forgive me if I botched that. I botched it in the video. You guys can't actually hear it because everyone started screaming, but I said Belo Horizonte. Yeah, I said like a true white person, it's fine. <laughs> but I'm going to be serving in Brazil, Belo Horizonte. Belo Horizonte, it's... The Portuguese language is the most beautiful language ever. I mean, I love French and Spanish and all those languages, but... This language is so intricate, so much different than French, and I have only been learning French, like, my whole life. So learning this language is going to be super cool, very different, and I'm struggling with it, so just be patient with me as I go about this. Um, maybe I can get you guys' help, because I saw that a lot of you guys are actually from Brazil, which is so cool, or a lot of you guys served in my same mission. If you guys are from Belo Horizonte, or you served in that mission, will you please spam the comments, tell me, like, all about it. I want to hear everything. I want to be as prepared as possible. And I just want to know about it because I am already like in love with that place. I'm so excited. And all of you guys who live in Brazil, I can't wait to come out there. I can't wait to start to get to know your guys' people more and just your environment. And oh, I'm literally already in love. This is if I actually get my visa and stuff done, which by the way, that is the craziest process ever. So please pray for me <laughs> that I can get everything done in time so I can actually go to Brazil and that I get um, accepted because I've heard a ton of people I actually knew a couple people that were supposed to go to Brazil and they weren't able to because I guess the visa process is just crazy so there's that I'm going to Brazil but a lot of you guys have been very confused because I moved to Florida for a bit you guys saw me leave to Florida and then there were a ton of questions because I was supposed to go on a mission, what's going on with that? So we're gonna answer some of those questions. Okay, so someone was like, this is, where, this is where I'm confused. I thought she was going on a mission. Why is she in Florida? What happened to finishing college? How do you know Reed that he has a house? I'm so confused. So I leave my call date for um, my mission is in August. So I'm leaving, I still have a while, right? It's, what is it, May? I think it's May, yeah, it's May. So it's May. So the semester ends in May also, actually. And then we decided to go to Florida. So I didn't technically move there. We moved there for a little bit, right? We were there for a, for like a week or was it a week? We moved there for a little bit of time. We aren't actually staying there, staying there. Those are all my best friends. Yeah, and so we decided to stay there. And some of the replies to that one was, she's stopping college for now and going on a mission soon. How would her college year end so early? The like college would finish in a few weeks, not like April. So there's a lot of confusion. So um, we went there in the middle of the semester. We went there and we just took a trip there, basically. Did a house tour, showed you guys around for the couple days that we were there. So that's that. And then I came back and I finished off the semester. So that's why you guys saw a lot of Instagram and a lot of things like that where I'm still in college. I have finished up college for the semester. So I did not, I didn't drop out of college, like in this, I didn't drop out of college and just move to Florida. I just went there for a little bit. Another person said, it's very confusing. She was posting videos with her roommates at college. I thought her roommates were her best friends. Now she is at a place in Florida with her new best friends. I just want you guys to know, I don't actually tell you guys everything. You guys probably know only 15% of my life. So you guys need to, just realize that what you guys see is what I want you guys to see. I show you guys a good percentage of my life, right? Like everything that I show you is raw and real and is what's going on. This person said that like she's posting what she is made to post. That's not very true. I am posting things that you guys want to see, things that I want to post. So I'm showing you guys my life, but you guys don't actually see a very large percentage of my life. There's that. That's why it's probably a little confusing because I just don't tell you guys everything that's happening and I show you the parts that you guys, that I want you guys to see basically. And this person replied with that saying that you can she said you know people can have more than one best friend which is true so my roommates yes i was pretty close with them 
but we just, we didn't travel. I hung out with them and I was close with them, but these were like my friend friends. These were my best friends, Aubrey and Reese and Reed. They were like my best friends. And so we went and we traveled, we planned fun trips. I have a lot of classes with Aubrey and Reese because we're all psych majors. And so we were always together. That's why you guys kind of saw them, but not really, because I wanted to just spend time with them for my last semester. That's why you guys didn't see a lot. You guys only really saw my roommates, but that's just because I live with them. So that's that. I'm close with my roommates, but I'm just like best friends with my with these girls, right? About Florida, someone asked if I was there for my mission. So no, I was just there, like I said, I was just there to have fun, just to go there, visit Florida. I have traveled and visited Florida with my family a little bit, but never that area, and so we wanted to go check that out. So fun. Any of you guys that live in Florida, beautiful place. You guys are living in freaking paradise. Actually, paradise is just wherever you make it paradise, but I thought that it was really cool. It was very beautiful. Okay, another few questions people have asked is if Reese and Aubrey and Reed, mainly Reese and Aubrey, if they're gonna be coming on my mission with me. They are not. For my mission, it is only me that is going to be going. I'll have like different companions and people that were assigned to that area. So I won't, I'll never be alone. I have, there's a lot of people that I'll be surrounded by, but I am not gonna be going with Reese and Aubrey. I think I've made a couple jokes about that, but it's just jokes. I said that they're my emotional support animals. Again, please don't take offense to that. It's just a joke. It's something that, like, it's like an inside joke, basically. That's just what I, like, call it, you know? Because it was like a mess up of words one time. I was like, oh, they're just my emotional support. But then I, I accidentally said emotional support animals. It just became a joke. So that's where that's come from. They're not coming with me on my mission. Okay, about the mission. Someone asked, what mission is it for? What does the mission benefit her? Can someone explain? So for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we are asked, not required, we're not made to do this, but they ask us if we would like to serve a mission for two years for men and a year and a half for women. I don't know why it's different, why they've done it like that, but that's just how they did it, and so we just follow along with that, you know? The mission is basically just to go and spread more about our gospel, about the gospel, and just to bring light to other people's lives. We do a lot of service, and we're not like forcing anyone. We Each mission's different, so sometimes we'll knock doors, sometimes We'll go online. Online has been a lot more popular lately just because of COVID and they've been switching it over. And we will just bring bring light to people's life and bring the good word, basically. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not doing this because there's a specific benefit for me. I'm doing it because I want to serve the Lord and I want to bring light to other people's life like I have been blessed to have for my own life. So that's why I'm doing it. There are many like blessings that can come from it. There's not like set in stone blessings, but like there's just blessings. You can be blessed for doing this because you're serving and you're giving away, giving up a year and a half of your life to go and do this. Someone said, are you not going to be able to post? So this is where it gets kind of confusing. We're gonna try, um, we're talking to my parents and people about like how we can go about this. When I'm on my mission, it's supposed to be fully focused on the mission, on the Lord and serving. And so that's another reason why you get lots of blessings because you give up everything, right? That's why I am pausing college for a little bit. I'm not dropping out or anything. What the heck? I'm not dropping out or anything like that. I'm just pausing my college and I'm just gonna go serve for a year and a half. So we're not sure if I'll be able to post. I am gonna be filming all of it for myself. I don't know if we will show that to you guys or what's gonna happen. Maybe we'll do something kind of like what Jordan does where you guys will get like an update of what's going on. But other than that, we kind of aren't sure. It's up in the air. You guys will we'll explain more of it later once it comes close to that. Okay, this question is really funny. What is Reed? Is he like the adult of the home for college kids that are going on missions? I might have missed it in the first video of you in Florida, but I'm not sure if you clarified. No, Reed is just a friend. You guys have probably heard some jokes about us calling him like daddy. Again, not sexual in any way. Please do not get offended by this. It's just a funny inside joke. Again, I don't tell you guys everything about my life, so you guys only see bits and pieces, and that's why there's the confusion. But it's just a funny joke that's been said. Um, it makes him, like, cringe, and so that's why we do it, because it's funny. He's okay with it. Anyways, I don't need to be telling you guys all this stuff. But, no, he is not. He's just one of our friends. Um... I still have my apartment with all girls. He's not like an adult for college kids that are going on missions. I think that's that's quite a interesting thing. What is a mission and why does Clay want it so bad? I felt for the longest time that a mission is something that I needed to do. So I felt very like spiritually 
that a mission was something that was for me, um, which means there's probably people out there in Bella de Zonch that need to hear from me, or I need to go out there because it's something that will change my life. Missions are very life-changing things because you are sent out at a very crucial growing time period, right? Like, you're growing a lot and your mind is developing and you're becoming an adult and, like, figuring out what you want to do by age 18, 19, 20, 21, which is when you would be going on a mission. And so if you're sent out to go and serve, it really, it can really, really benefit your like growth and your mind and stuff because you rely on the Lord and you're serving and you are just giving your heart and soul to others, which can just benefit you in so many different ways. So that's why I want to go on a mission so bad. I just felt very strongly that it was something I needed to do. Did this already happen? Like, is she already over there? Because it said August. So why would they take so long to train her? I think she might already be over there. I think these are old videos. These are not old videos. It is May 12th right now. As you guys are seeing this, it is May 12th. So no, these are not old videos. Um, every single call is gonna be different and they send you out when they think you are ready. Usually if you're needing to get a visa and a passport and go out of the country, they'll give you a couple extra months because that process is very crazy, very intricate, right? Like my passport, that takes about five weeks. Getting a p visa can take up to f like five weeks at the least it's just crazy at least for my experience that's how long it's gonna take so that's why it's such a long time period of like training me and then I'll be in the MTC for six weeks because I have to learn a whole new language in six weeks well they give us six weeks to kind of just get the baseline and then you get like completely immersed in the language which helps you to learn it very quickly and so that's what we're doing I don't want to offend anyone in any way, but does anyone know if Claire and her family are Christians or Catholic? Just wondering. That's not offensive whatsoever. I'm glad you asked. We are Christian, um, but we are a part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. A lot of you guys may know us as Mormons, but we, we definitely are Christian. We have very, very similar beliefs. I think Christianity is basically like the baseline of it. Um, so yeah, okay, um, last question. How does college, how does going on a mission affect your college? Just curious. So luckily for my college, it is based with the church, I think is what they call it. So it's not owned by the church, it's a privately owned um, school, but it is based off of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and all of those morals. But um, luckily they're very understanding if you like drop out of college for a little bit, like just leave mid-year or at the end of a year, and don't go the full four consecutive years. There's actually some scholarships that they give you. If you serve a mission, when you come back from a mission, you can get a scholarship for that. So they really encourage it. Again, this is not bribery or anything like that. It's just another like opportunity. I finished off a year and a half of college. Um, I think we've explained to them, I did paperwork and things like that, just showing that like I will be coming back after my mission, but I'm taking these year, this year and a half. And then I'll come back and I'll finish college. So. I hope that answers your questions. I hope that helped clear up some of the confusion. Please let me know if you guys have any more questions. And again, for all of you people who live in Brazil, specifically Belo Horizonte, or served there, please let me know everything about it. Like, um, oh, like FYI, this kind of stuff happens here. Like, pack these things because that's helpful. All that kind of stuff would be greatly appreciated. And I just want to know about Belo Horizonte. If you guys live around Belo Horizonte, please let me know all about it. Like the specific foods you guys love. Because I want to try cooking some of those meals here. Well, anyways, I just want to know about Brazil. Let me know. I saw that a ton of people are from Brazil. So I'm very excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am to go to Brazil. So I hope this explained and cleared up some confusion. And let me know if you guys have any more questions about a mission. Maybe I'll do a part two. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.